Hey, this is Nenny with Rocket Powered Sound. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you four basic serum sound design tricks for making dubstep basses. All of the sound design tricks that I'm gonna be referencing are gonna be using the Riot for Serum preset pack, so be sure to check that out after this video. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first sound design technique we're gonna be going over is the FM plus filter bass. So I've got this preset here from the Riot for Serum preset pack called All Is Fair number two, and it sounds like this. Pretty gnarly bass. And uh, we're gonna be showing you it. So what this consists of is basically these two FM, these two oscillators, which are on sine wave mode, FMing each other, and then going through a filter. So that's like the bare bones of it. After There's like a bunch of processing on it afterwards that uh, kind of helps it, you know, be nice and thick. But yeah, we're gonna do that real quick. So we've got this basic, this init patch right here, loaded up. And so we're gonna get a sine wave or we're gonna get basic shapes on both oscillators like this. I'm gonna turn the level down on the oscillator number B, number B, of course. And we're gonna go FM from B right here. Now I'm gonna take the LFO one and just make like a little shape like this uh, and put it on envelope mode. This is gonna kind of like modulate the FM from B like amount right here. So we're gonna make that, make it do like a pretty minuscule amount. We'll pull it like right around here. Something like that. And we're gonna put up oscillator two octaves. <laughs> So we got something going on like that. Now I'm gonna go to LFO2 and kind of like make a shape like this. And this is gonna control the volume of oscillator one. Oscillator A, we're gonna put that on envelope mode as well. So we got something that sounds like this. Now we're gonna get a filter. And in particular, I think flanger H6 negative, I think. And we're gonna put this, we're gonna take LFO1 and put that on uh, the cutoff. And we're just going to kind of move that around until we get like kind of an interesting like resonant peak. So. Something like that, maybe. I think that sounds good. Let's make sure it's not clipping. And then we're just going to then we're going to go ham on the processing. So we're going to get a compressor, turn that on and put it on multiband mode. And then I'm going to adjust this little like band right here to add in some like high end. Again, make sure that's not clipping and then just like distort the crap out of it. And there you go. You've got kind of the bulk of the sound figured out there. Maybe some hyper dimension for some width. And now, I mean, we can go kind of crazy with this. We could add like a delay and put that on. We can link these two and then put, take a, turn off the BPM mode. I'll turn these like way down. And go for like a tonal delay. That sounds sick. Put that there and then maybe we can add like another filter here like a combs filter would be kind of sick so let's see what we got going on there yeah there we go that sounds sick we just modulate any of the cut off get the got the resonance pretty high that sounds gnarly and now now we've got like a really good uh like basis for a sound right like this alone, I mean, this could fit into like a like a song on it on its own, but like it really it would really shine when you add like you know your own processing. So I'd add like a fat rack here. Something, something like that, maybe like a spectral time to add some like lasery quality to it. Yeah, boom! Look at that. That sounds absolutely gnarly. So uh, yeah, that's. That concludes tip number one. So let's move on to tip number two. So tip number two is the crooker's bass. So this is like a super, this is like an absolutely ancient trick. This has been around since like the beginning of, of dubstep as we know it, right? It sounds like this. So this is, all this is basically is, is you've got these two oscillators going on at the same time. One of them is like four octaves up and they're, the, both of the levels are, are like all the way up and then you distort it together. So that results in this, this kind of sound. So we're gonna replicate that of course. So let's go to an empty, a little init patch. Got our trusty sine wave and we're gonna change this to uh, a, a sine wave and we're also gonna get the second oscillator also on a sine wave. Now we don't even have to touch the level. We could just leave it as is. And we're, we're just gonna take the octave on oscillator B and just put it up four octaves. And that's gonna sound like this. And then when we go to the effects and we just distort it, that's where the magic happens. So you'll watch, I'll turn up the drive. And it sounds like that. And you maybe put it on mono so the notes aren't overlapping. 
there you go. You've got <laughs> this ba most basic base of all time, basically. And from here, you can do a bunch of stuff, right? So you can, what I like to do with like, you know, these like Crooker's bases is os uh, modulate oscillator B, which is a high one. You'll notice like when I mess with this, it sounds super gnarly. Like it's like taking the volume and like turning it down. Really cool effect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna maybe put some eighth notes. That sounds cool. And then we can just compress that. Yeah, like that. Add some hyper dimension maybe. And again, this is this this really shines when you add like your own like post processing to it. So I'm actually gonna take off the um, hyper dimension so we get a more pure sound. And then we can just add like an amp, for example. And then a fat rack. Super gnarly sound. Add some stereo. There you go. Oh. Listen to that, that is the most like gnarly, like sustained bass ever. And it's so, so basic. And yeah, by the way, the uh, preset uh, on this one, I forgot to mention, is called uh, Beyond. Uh, and again, it's the, it's from the uh, Riot for Serum, uh, from the Riot for Serum preset pack. If you wanna go check out this one specific specifically. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That concludes tip number two. Let's move on to tip number three. So bass number three is called the, or I'm gonna call it the phase bass. Sounds like this. So what this is, is you've got basically just like one wavetable. And the, so the oscillator B, you can almost almost kind of ignore it. This is like more for like extra flair in the tonality itself. But the, the main effect that we're after is yeah, the, the phasiness, the, the kind of laser like aspect to it. And what's going on is you have these like 16 voices going on. And when you turn the random all the way down, I could go into depth on why this happens, but basically it's all 16 voices playing at the same time. And that causes it to kind of create extra frequencies because they're all overlapping at the same time. So you get that weird like phasiness going on because of that. So we're going to recreate that. This one's called Perfect Riot. Again, same from the Riot for Serum preset pack, if you want to go check that out. But let's make this on our own. So let's uh, let's go into an init preset patch, our trusty old saw wave. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the unison here. Just turn it all the way up to 16 voices. Let's get something like this. We can turn up the D2 quite a lot. So it sounds, it sounds like this, it sounds absolutely terrible, but we turn down, turn down the random all the way. Boom, oldest trick in the book. This, as far as I know, doesn't really work that well in Vital. So if you're trying this in Vital and it doesn't sound like the way it does in Serum, you might be out of luck because I tried it once and it didn't really sound that good, but that's just like, you know, anecdotally speaking. So maybe you've got a different experience uh, with that, but it's such a simple effect. I mean, we can kind of like, you know, reference this uh, bass get it kind of closer. So maybe we can add some like filters. I'm noticing we've got like a cool like little wavetable going on. So maybe we can get like one of the monster wavetables and like maybe cycle through that like this. Something like that, that sounds pretty cool. We can add a, like a high, we can add a multi thing, multi filter, get like a high, high notch one. I really like this filter and just make like a little peak thingy like this. And we can do like a little, little one of these. Yeah, like that. And then again, process it. Let's add some compression. Let's add our own sub. Why not? And then just take the level on this and maybe like, you know, plop that on the oscillators like this. And then, you know, add some hyper dimension. Maybe we can even distort this beforehand. I don't like how that sounds personally. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. And then again, you can you can go absolutely crazy with the post processing on this. Add some add some fan rack, some spectral time. That's where the magic magic happens. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. There you go. So it doesn't sound exactly like this one, but you kind of get the idea. The effect is there, right? Like you've got you've got the uh, you know the, the the phase phase bass going on. So yeah, there you go. Let's move on to the last bass, which is the key track filter bass. 
So this is not really going to sound that much like the uh, original preset that, preset that we're going to be working with, but it is just to demonstrate the kind of effects that I want to touch on. So this is what the preset sounds like. Right, you've got this like, you know, little womp going on. But what I want to highlight is you've got this filter going on with the key track feature enabled. So when you have like this this filter going into like playing at the same time as your sound and you put it on the key track mode, you, you can kind of like get these like interesting peaks going on and also keep it like placed on the same like notes, basically, if that kind of makes sense. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go to our trusty old saw wave, of course. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little bass. We're going to make like a little FM bass just using like the, the serum FM from B. We're just going to do something like this. Super simple. Something like that. Super basic, just like a like a little FM bass using two saw waves. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna add just a sub just for just for fun. Turn that up a bit. And now we're we're gonna add a filter. Maybe go to flanges, pick, I don't know, this one. And then maybe that maybe this one. And then we're gonna go ahead and maybe like a little peak thingy like this so we can kind of like modulate the cutoff up and down but we're gonna we're gonna put on envelope mode so that it kind of like retains its note after after like you know this initial thing and then so it's gonna sound like this for a <laughs> maybe another filter's a bit better for this So I'm looking for just kind of like some some interesting tonalities. Maybe maybe like we could do like maybe we could try like sine waves. Ooh, yeah, there we go. There we there we go. Okay, so yeah, we got some kind of interesting stuff going on there. Now, when I play this, you're gonna notice uh, when I play like different notes, you're gonna notice the tonality changes between notes, right? So I'm, I'm moving my note, like my keyboard notes, like up and down. I'm doing that essentially. It, the notes don't sound the same. So if you change it to the, if you click this little button and then try it, suddenly the, the sound stays consistent. So now, you know, you just add your compressors, of course. Ooh, this is gnarly. Maybe we could kind of modulate the uh, resonance to go down. So that doesn't like ring out forever. Yeah, there you go. Super gnarly bass. And it just doesn't, it, like now you can play like cool little melodies, right? Like you can write a, like, a little melody if you wanted, like, uh... I don't know, some, something like that, you know? Basically, it, the tonality isn't going to change as if, you know, or uh, like as opposed to... As opposed to that. Much better that way. That's all I've got for you. I hope you were able to learn something from this. Remember to check out the Riot for Serum preset pack using the link in the description, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.